Hello Toastmasters and very welcome guests. Old age rocks! Phil? Uh, Eddie, no Eddie. John, Pete. Shop, Pete. It'll come to me in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Memory loss, it's all part of growing old. But I've got some good news. 50 is the new 40. And life begins at 50. Yes. Expanding waistlines, thinning hair, memory loss, failing eyes. The ladies love it. Or do they? Not quite. But they don't mean that. What they mean is embracing life. What they mean is we appreciate life more because we know it's going so fast. It's disappearing before our very eyes. And why is that? New technology. But new technology is quite awesome. It's all screens and digits and, and thumbs and, and pressings, buttons. Why can't it be like it used to be? When we had one TV in the house, a great big box with a little screen. Look at the exercise we used to get when we used to get up and press the great big knob in. It was great fun. But it got us all together as a family. I remember my favourite programme was a snooker programme called Pop Black. The whole family used to gather round on a Sunday and watch our black and white TV. What colours he popping now, Dad? <laughs> Light grey, son. Always the same answer. But at least we were together. And now we've got all these devices that are making our lives a lot better, quicker, faster, easier, but we're all in different rooms. My three children, my son's, he's in the next room. I have to email him if I want to talk to him. And then he puts an out of office reply on. <laughs> a daughter's tweeting, she's only 12. I have a daughter's blogging. The wife, she's always on Facebook when we go to bed. What's going on? This is all about our lives racing forward, but we're all doing this. The communication just breaks down as we get older. It's meant to improve our lives. We can take texting, for example. For a mature guy like me, it's all thumbs, I can't see, I need my glasses. The figures need to be at least an inch high. So when my wife sends me an average text, I need a 42 inch flat screen on my mobile phone. What's happening? So, predictive texting, how annoying is that? It is so infuriating. I mean, it thinks of the words for you. But it always gets it wrong. Imagine if we could, if our brains are racing so fast that we start talking like that. I mean, only the other dealer. I mean, day. I was shaggy cheering <sighs> the stage with a guy called Wank. Wink, whack, a Wayne. You see, we just get into trouble. I've got into a lot of hot water tonight. Laptops. How much trouble can they get you in? I mean, I was surfing the net the other day, looking at a website about human error and having a right laugh. Then I typed in boobs. And do you see what come up? Terrible. Especially when the wife was behind me. Her face looked like a bumblebee. No, hang on. Her face looked like a bulldog chewing a bumblebee and she was going to tear my head off. World War III was about to start. 
And it was while I was in the fracture clinic at A&E, I thought, there's no way I'm going to bother with this technology. It's too advanced, it's too, too much for me. To speak to my family, who are all over the house on their electronic devices. I've got to email them all, email my daughter, she's 12. What's it all coming to, guys? A more mature male like me, I want to sit with my family. I want to embrace them all, chat, talk. And memory loss, yes. When you lose your way halfway through a speech, don't blame lack of preparation. It's all down to the thin grey matter up here. <laughs> and these things, brilliant. They make everything bigger so you can see. I have become invisible in my family. Superfluous. A waste of time. Because they're all running here and there on their devices, their iPods, tweeting, blogging. What's tweeting all about? Telling the world that you've just had a panini in Costa. Who cares? No one's interested. No one has any time. So, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you this. Put down your tweets. Put down your blogs. Put down your iPads, iPhones, iPods. And let's get back to family values. Let's get back to family values. Repeating yourself is all part of growing old. <laughs> no one's interested. Nobody cares. For the more mature male, Madam Toastmaster. <laughs> very good, very good.